From Viking halls to the cities of the future, Terrain Buffs will love our foreground hub. Watch gaming tables of all genres come to life at beastsofwar.com. Become a general of mighty armies at the Kings of War Hub. Take command of elves, dwarves and orcs in this game of masked fantasy combat on beastsofwar.com. So, hi guys, welcome to What's in the Box. Today, myself and John are having a look at some more Volsung stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's two really quirky little characters. So, John, uh, you open this one, I'll yep, open this sure. one. Uh, so, who I have is Sir Henry Bucklepunch, an absolute lunatic of the Volsung universe. And I have Dorothy Quimby. Yes. So, yeah, she uh, she's an interesting one. Yeah, uh, Not quite so interesting as Sir Bucklepunch. Really? Yeah, because his, his rules are really funny. Okay. So, uh... It's a three-piece mini, so I'll put him under close camera here. So, here he is. He's very, very medieval looking, isn't he? Mm -hmm. With the steampunk valves and dials on him, which yeah. I like. But the important thing is, he has this. A spring-loaded punch arm. <laughs> so it's, it's very cartoony of just mm. like, aha! Boing. I challenge you to a dual punch. And he also has his, his trusty steed. Okay. That's a toy. That's not a toy. <laughs> that is a steampunk Pired uh, pogo stick of it's awesome. A, a pogo stick? Uh, well, it's essentially a pogo stick, isn't it's, it? It's essentially, essentially. But uh, he's a human, so he's got beginner's luck. He's also got scientist and noble. Mm -hmm. Steam powered full plate, fire spout horse is what that's actually called, <coughs> and the punchline gauntlet. Mm -hmm. So the punchline gauntlet is a quick weapon of strength four. And it gets a minus one if it's above eight inches. Okay. Okay. He's a hero. Mm -hmm. uh, he will generate you two coins to go into your henchman, which is beautiful. But what I really like <coughs> is the fire spout horse. Action. Discard a card in this model's suit. This model may be placed on it at any surface with no roof above or below within it. So basically, he can go, here's a building. That's tall. Boing. Donk. <laughs> The other one, the punchline gauntlet, has the punchline rule. Mm -hmm. On a miss, place this model in base to base with the target model. Both models are toppled. On a hit, place this model in base to base with the target model. On a critical hit, if the target model is mounted on a 30mm base, place it in base to base with this model. If the target model is mounted on a larger base, treat it as a hit instead. Okay. So basically, say here's a rooftop, here's a rooftop, I shoot at you, mm -hmm. I get a critical. Okay. I drag you off your rooftop and you fall to the ground. <laughs> or he grabs you and just flies through the air going mm. I'm at you that is an interesting one yeah I'm, I'm going to have to do a Volsung strategy for that mm -hmm. if, if there's not one out already right uh, Lady Dorothy Quimby then yes this is essentially an elf lady right uh, well, I think what race is it she has pointy ears then it's an elf okay this is <laughs> essentially <laughs> I, I, I already want I want to say it I want to say it this is a Victoriana elf lady on a unicycle thing. On a monocycle. On a monocycle thing doing a drive-by. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, let, let's go through the parts, because mm -hmm. this, this is a really interesting sculpt yeah. from the guys over at Micro Art Studio. So you've got the lower part here where you've got the main engine set up mm -hmm. and her lower waist. It's very, very cool. You've got the two little headlamps in the engine and all. It is so funky. Great detail, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You then have the upper ring to actually make the rest of the bike. So this bit, and this bit. So whenever it all goes together, you have a single uh, wheel. And this bit. Ah, yes, and this bit as well. Which is the top runner part of the... Yeah, the very top, Yeah. which has also got a piece of engine on it, mm -hmm. which is wonderful. We then come to the lady herself. So she's hunkered down over the controls, one hand on the controls, the other hand doing something else, which we'll find out about in a second. Mm -hmm. uh, well, no, actually, this it's hand, a pistol. Uh, yeah, this hand is holding a pistol. Sorry, because it's this hand which has the handlebars. Yeah. And then you obviously get two little exhausts. Mm -hmm. She's quite the interesting one because she plays a lot of movement shenanigans. Right. right. Uh, she's actually... Ooh, I'm not sure if she is an elf. Yeah, beginner's pointy luck, ear. that suggests to me a human. Yeah. Uh, her art has a, a pointy ear. Yeah, maybe she's just vain and wants to look like an elf. Could be a could be a half elf. Could be, could be. Uh, yeah. the, the the species do interbreed in this world, but uh, she's got beginner's luck, noble scientist, motorcycle ride, 
Uh, wheel, full throttle, and a pistol. Now, the pistol's a pistol. We mm. all know what it is. She is rolling around with two armor, and armor in this game makes a big difference because mm -hmm. it knocks out successes directly. Yeah. Uh, movement of eight, so she's really, really quick. Fight three, strength three, guns four, so she's quite the shooty one, mm -hmm. and reflexes three. She's also generating you two coins for henchmen. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I'll tell you what, let's go get her built, and then I'll read what her specials are All right. once we have them built up. Okay, guys, we are back. John, you built both of these. Yes. How, how was the build on them? Oh, uh, well, clearly our knight did was easy. Oh, yeah. uh, Sir Henry Bucklepunch. Yes. Um, Dorothy was a bit of a challenge, but she's absolutely gorgeous, so it yeah. doesn't matter. All right. Uh, which one do you want to show off first? Uh, we'll do it in order of how we unbox them. Okay. So we have Sir Henry Bucklepunch now built. He... <sighs> I don't know why, but I always imagine him as the idiot hero, the one who's always trying to save the day and constantly messing up. He kind of reminds me a bit of um, Lord Flashheart from Blackadder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, actually, yes. I, th I feel like he would be a bit of a Lord Flashheart. Yes, I definitely. Oh, can you imagine having a Roland Atkinson character <laughs> in this world? I just imagine this dude, right, jumping onto the top of the building, landing down in front of someone and going, WOOF! <laughs> and then punching them in the face. <laughs> uh, actually, yes. <laughs> or him just flying through the air and just as he reaches those of them, you have the WOOF! <laughs> Uh, oh, I had imagined him as the idiot hero, now uh, he's always going to be flash art to me. If, if you have not <laughs> seen Blackadder go forth, you would have to be living under a rock. Yeah, or any of the previous, but I think he was in Blackadder 3 as well, Blackadder the 3rd. Yeah. Um, he played a prince or something in that, and he was absolutely hilarious in yeah, that too. Yeah. Uh, well, Blackadder's one of the greatest comedies of all time, but let's not get into that, we're getting sidetracked. <laughs> right, on to Dorothy then. Uh, yes, we have uh, Lady Dorothy Quimby, and she is gorgeous once she's built up. Doing a drive-by. Yeah, now, when, when I glued this one down, I was like, I want the pistol to be level to make it look like she's actually firing this thing. So it's very dynamic looking when it's rocked yeah. over to one side. Yeah. It's, it's just, it's really cleverly designed. I love the fact that you have the open lattice work mm. in and through it, and her sitting on it. Yeah, I, I totally agree that, yes, the gun should be pointed up like that as yep. her just pulling around a corner very tightly going, and shoot you on the way past. And do a drive-by. <laughs> yeah, and do a drive-by. Right. Her rules, which I, I skipped in the last okay. uh, side of it, because I, before camera was turned on, I forgot to read her card. Yep. <laughs> it does happen. So, she has ride, which is a quick action, which means whenever she moves, if, if she starts her action in base to base with someone, so, in fact, let's do this on the close camera. Say Sir Henry, Bu Henry Buckle Punch is here. Mm -hmm. She does her ride move action. Yep. She will move, and when she finishes, he comes along with her. Right. So she can play movement shenanigans left, right, and center. Yeah. Full throttle actually lets her, instead of moving 8, move 12. Right. So she can get really, really quickly. And the last one, wheel, is basically saying, okay, she's treated as a vehicle, but she can do heroic movements because she's a hero. Yeah. So basically, you can imagine her stopping in front of a wall, speeding up as fast as she can in front of this wall, mm -hmm. and then up zooming the wall. up it, yeah. which is what the heroic moves do. They're very, very cool characters. Uh, I think for her as well, she needs to get a, a, a Volsung stratagems as well, yeah. just because she's cool. Two very, very quirky and very interesting characters for Ashenok. Mm -hmm. Very but, cool. Yeah, um, They look like they're going to be a joy to paint as well. They may actually be my next faction. So, since I've already <laughs> done the inventors, I may actually take your advice you gave me ages ago and go Ashenok. Ashenok, I know you, John. You're a sir. <laughs> I don't have a... No, I, I, I'm now working on it again. He's working on it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anyway, guys, tell you what, get your comments in below. Have you played either of these two characters in your games of Volsung, or would they tempt you to actually take in and jumping into the Ashenok as they are with John? Mm. We'll move on here. We will see you in the next video. Anime cyberpunk style meets skirmish combat in Infinity. Experience eight high-tech factions and fight to control the human sphere at the Infinity Hub on BeastsOfWar.com. In a world controlled by massive corporations, a steady aim and split-second decisions are needed for your Megacon to complete its goals. Begin your missions at the Mercs Hub on BeastsOfWar.com.